guys on today's video we're gonna be setting up your IKEA blinds now these are these guys so on the back you will see that it's black and then on the front is this so this is what we're gonna be seeing inside your house this is the outside so that should keep the Sun out a hundred percent so things that you guys should know this top part where you see guys white this will peel off this will go against your frame okay so that will make it stick to your frame so it's a top part then these guys that came with this, we're gonna cut these. And what these do is that it just keeps your blinds down. So once you put your blinds down, we're gonna put these right here. Then one on the bottom, and that's just gonna stick there. Okay, so this is what's gonna make it stick to the frame when you guys pull it down. To keep your blinds up, in the other hand, we're gonna be using these guys right here. And other than that, all you guys really need are scissors. <laughs> um, scissors is all you need really in order to set these guys up. So you guys see this paper that came, it's the exact length of your blinds. This came with your blinds right now. So all we have to do is use this. I actually like using this instead of measuring straight up with your blinds because it's the exact same thing. We're just gonna measure the inside of your frame, so edge to edge, and then we're just gonna cut the blinds wherever they are. So what we're gonna do is measure inside the frame. So it's gonna be from here to here. I find this to be very precise, exactly what you want. So it goes right to the edges. That's exactly what we want. Of course, we can always cut it to be smaller, but uh, once, if you guys cut it too small, then that's a problem. So just make sure to cut it a little bit bigger maybe, if you're not 100% sure of what you're doing. So on the side, I just did some testing to see which way would turn out best. And yes, scissors turn out to be the best way really. So what we're gonna do is cut our final thing. So right here, is what you guys can see is where I fold it. So that's where my cut's gonna go. So this bottom part is gonna be the hardest one just because it's got this tape. Other than that, everything else will be a lot smoother. Now you will notice that the edges, there's some parts that yeah, we might have messed up. It's just these little things coming out. Other than that, everything else should be smooth. I'm pretty good. We can just clean those up with the scissors, obviously. Once we are done cutting, we can go right into the next stage, which is just going to glue these guys. So let's do that. So what you want to do is clean this area, okay? Where you're gonna stick right here your blinds. If this is not clean, or if this is paint, just make sure the paint doesn't come off easy. Sometimes there's that cheap paint that comes off and that way your blinds are just gonna fall off. So I've seen some reviews about this. Pretty sure it's because people either didn't clean, so there's a lot of dust here, or it could just be paint that was not getting in the way. So it might have been that paint that just comes off, it's kind of powdery. So just make sure you don't have any of that. So right now we're just gonna take off our tape. Okay. So it's our tape protection, and then we're gonna place this. So it's gonna go like this in the window. The black side is gonna go outwards. And um, if you guys hear any noises in the background, that's just my dog. So there we go. It's supposed to fall like so, and it's supposed to go up like this. So right now, see how this will not just stay down? It's always gonna go up. So we need to set these guys up, Velcro. So we just have to divide this into three. So one, two, three, and then we're just gonna tape it down there. So we just divided our Velcro into three, okay? And now we're just gonna put it on the blind and right here on the actual frame. What we have to do is just take out this part and then we'll leave this exposed. And this will stick onto the frame or right here you blind. So what we're supposed to do is stick our Velcro right there and then we're just gonna take this out, put it down here and what will this do is it will make it stick down here. So when we put it down, it stays down. 
However, I don't like the way Velcro looks on my window frame. Don't like it at all, actually. It's, um, it's very annoying to me. So I'm not gonna use that, but I just explained what you guys have to do if you want the Velcro. In my case, what I'm gonna do in order to keep this down, and most of you have this window edge right here, if you guys can lift up your window, then you guys can use these that came with right here your blinds. And what this does is to keep it up. So if you guys wanna keep up your blinds, you just place it wherever you want. So if I want my window blind to be a little bit more up than that, I can bring it up, up to here for example, and I can just place that right there. There's two, so you're supposed to put one on each side so it doesn't look like this. Um, so like so, so if I can put that here and I can just put this one in the other side and that's gonna keep my window blind up and not looking bad. So if you only use one in the middle, it looks pretty bad, but like this, it looks straight, it looks good. Anyways, what I'm gonna do in order to keep my window shades down is do this, I'm gonna keep it down and I'm gonna lock these in and they should get a grip of my window right there. As long as I can get that grip, this will stay down. And that way I don't have to mess around with Velcro and no sunlight or light will come through here because that's just the frame itself. Now just a quick tip, if you guys are planning to buy these, make sure you're buying these because you want your shades to be down the whole time or you want them to be up the whole time. So if you have them up, people can see you straight up. There's no filter really, so Think about that, how much light you guys want to come in. Maybe during the day, you want your privacy, but you guys want light to come through. So these are not it, okay? These are to actually just let nobody see inside and no light through, or put them up and let everybody see you <laughs> and a lot of light through. So think about other things such as these, guys. Yes, they're a little bit more expensive, but it's only what these are maybe are close to the same price maybe they're just up by two or three more dollars more expensive than the paper ones and you guys can actually flip these so people can't actually see you right away if you put them like this sun does come through a little bit however people can't see you especially if you're in the second floor or something like that they can't see you at all and you guys can move these in order to block sunlight 100 percent or to let sunlight in and people still can't see you that much unless they come really close to your window and look through sure they can see you anyways it's something to think about when you're planning to buy these from ikea now why do i have two because these other ones they're the cheap ones so that means light does go through a little bit once they're closed so i needed something to to make it really really dark so that's why i have two right now so this would be my first, those ones are my second ones. Now we're gonna be completely black. And the other ones do come out outside the frame. So it's perfect in my situation. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write it down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.